What's up, everybody out there uh, in the side world? YouTube, MySpacers, uh, Twitters. I don't even know. If I, I now I don't think MySpace still exists anymore. But uh, MySpace, Vampire Freakers, Facebook, uh, Tumblr, or whatever out there. I forget. This was your boy Donovan Kelly coming at you, aka Five Three Four Goth, and I am reporting from Farmington Hills, Michigan, at a cemetery. This is uh by far one of voted by far one of the one of the best cemeteries in the state of Michigan. It this place is not all that hunted. Me being part of Caustic where I could feel, you know, the the energy and all that here, but uh it's sad to be if you come here after twelve o'clock midnight, put your car in neutral if you can find a way to get in here because the, the gates are already locked. See now I'm I'm in here by bike, so I don't drive. But it's sad that if you put your car in neutral and drive up the hill, some spirits will push the car back down or some crap. If you, like, I don't know. I heard about it. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool graveyard. Like I said, it's not William Ganog or Elmwood Cemetery in Detroit or any of that, but it's it's a graveyard. And if it's stuff going on, like, you, you know, spirits pushing your car, and then you leave, they say the, the handprints are on the car. But, uh, yeah, this is me reporting from a graveyard, and this is my vlog about return of the old enemies and and uh the other part of the video is going to be about do i feel bad about the things i said about certain and most females i've witnessed and met in my life and i'll have to say no but uh let's get started shall we um i'm gonna light up a smoke here i'm kind of i've been kind of stressed out all summer i kind of quiet today they just call me a pussy or whatever you want to call me. I don't really give a damn. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been wanting to make another video inside of a graveyard. Like I said, I would rather much make the graveyard or make the... This is about something else, but, you know, it didn't go the way I wanted it to. So, whatever. But, you know. I'm going to set my camera down for a bit. But, uh, yeah, guys, I've been, you know, I've been, uh, still doing my witchcraft and whatnot. Nothing's changed as much, you know. I'll be 30 this coming October, but, uh, yeah, I recently was at the skate park. And, um, you know. You know, you get kind of tired of seeing the fucking same enemies over and over again. But uh, as you guys know, me and Corey Wigurski, Nick Bullen, and Christopher Kunhiro, or Chris K for short, we got into a big fucking fight back in September of last year, okay? Excuse me. Sorry. I usually don't smoke, but I, I when I get stressed out, I do, but um. But you guys know, I recently uh got into a fight with those guys <clears throat> back in September. The three guys are his name. Corey Wigurski is pretty much, he's sponsored by Odyssey and he's sponsored by Sunday before he was right for season, okay? Anyway, you know, he came back to Michigan recently. I don't think a week, just last week he came back to Michigan, Corey Wigurski. You know, I'm not going to break the tights at all. You know, if somebody hurts you, they deserve to have things happen and I'm back in their face. So anyways, Corey came up to the skate park, you know, last week, all right? And uh, I guess all the kids, oh, they're all worshiping him and they're starting around like he's such a big guy and he's cool, you know. And he went to my Facebook, right? This is like April. This was this year, actually, this April. He left me a bunch of rude things saying, oh, you should get a job. And I'm the one here supposed to be acting like a man and he fucking hates me, see? This is my thing. People tell me to let things lay, but then when I let things lay and I keep my mouth shut, this is how you know when the enemy is being hexed or cursed. Because you sit there, you mind your damn business, you don't say nut to the enemy, and all of a sudden the enemy feels the need that they need to keep talking their shit. And I let things lie. I let things go. You know? 
So since I let things go, he should let things go too, or they should let things go. I'm talking in terms of enemies, he, she, her, whatever it is. All right? You're all telling me to let things go, but my thing is, uh, you're telling me to let things go, but they're still talking their shit. So I know that's a proof of guilt. People always say, how do you know witchcraft work? How do you know it worked? That's how I know it worked, because if it didn't work, why is why am I all calm and cool collective and the enemy start, keeps starting shit? That's because he's guilty for what he done or she done. That's how the witchcraft works. And I don't have to say no. I, I'm, I don't feel bad about my spells that I cast because those fucking people deserve it. I'm never going to be friends with Corey Rogerski and uh, Nick Bullen or Christopher K. None of them. Now, we recently, I recently went, went with Chris K to a strip club. It was just me, Jay, me and Jason. We went and he thinks we're friends now. We're really not friends, and that's not the way it's going to be. Dude, I hex you. I meant what I done. So, you know, that's that that cuts it, though, for my part of that video about Return of the Old Enemies. But uh, what I done is done. And I, you know what? When I saw that son of a bitch walk back to the skate park last week, I saw him. Dude, it just, it, it just made me more stressed out than I already was. I was already stressed out from the shit that I've been taking on some with these females. I'm pretty sure I told you guys about that. You know, I'm not... I'm not going to sit up here, what are you going to do, record everything that happens in your life and put it on YouTube? No, I'm not saying that, but I think I should be able to stress my point and tell people what's going on. You know, that's the whole point of, you know, making friends, the whole point of having the opportunity to be on television in any way, shape, or form, tell people about how you feel. So, my thing is, uh, <clears throat> my thing is, uh, I say return them to all enemies, I feel good about what I've done. But yeah, I'm very stressed out because I don't want to see that son of a bitch again. He's garbage. I mean, you're telling me I'm a low life dude. Why are you talking shit? It's over. So you need to just ride, keep riding your little bike. This goes to you, Corey. If you ever watch this video in the future, this is me, Corey. This is Donovan Kelly, and I'm reporting from a graveyard. And when I'm reporting a video from a graveyard, it just ain't be doing it to be cool. You notice something up when 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 someone, especially someone that's a witch part of cultic world, when they go to a graveyard, you better watch out. Let me tell you, Corey, Wagurski, uh. I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you yet, so I don't want you to think it. Uh, I, you know, I I normally don't do this. Hopefully, this doesn't get me banned or get my account suspended off YouTube. But I want to do this anyway, because I don't give a fuck, because I'm pissed. But uh, I got something that you probably don't know about. Everybody's watching this. You can tell Nick. You can tell Chris K. You can tell Corey Garski. Uh, see, I warn people to leave me alone, and you don't do it. You see that? Who is that, people? That's a picture of Nick Bullen. How did I get that picture? I'm not going to tell you how I got that picture, because that's none of no one's business. But uh, I think my little black book, well, when I say little black book, I'm not talking about the Bible. All my pagans and Wiccans and Satanists and all that, I'm not a Satanist. You all know what I'm talking about, though, right? It says, use anybody's DNA. And that's how the spell comes to fray. What we mean by that when we say that is I don't care if it's a lock of hair, a tooth, a fingernail, a piece of clothing, any property that belongs to an enemy, I can use. So you see that? I'm going to flash that by you guys one more time. See that? That's a picture of Nick Bullen. See, I told you, Corey, to keep your fucking mouth shut, and you didn't. Yeah, that's a picture of the, the little fucking red-headed ginger son of a bitch. I guess his little boyfriend or something. See, I'm bisexual. So when you said the little stupid comment, I'm the one here probably acting like a man. You said on Facebook, uh, actually, you got it wrong, sweetie. I act like a man or a woman because I go both ways. I like guys and girls. So, see, I have that opportunity to be as feminine or be, be as manly as I want. So uh, you keep talking your shit all you want. You know, yeah, you're right. I'm supposed to be acting like an adult no matter what gender I am. But I'm going to let you, I'm going to let little boys keep talking their shit. So go ahead, Corey, you watch a little fucking bike. You have fun on your little new sponsorship and all that. You keep talking your shit. It's like I told my ass over brother, I'm going to get you. You know, people act so fucking stupid when, when it comes to you defending yourself. But it's okay for people to walk all over you and, and, and do the things they do to you. That's okay. But the minute you do what you're supposed to do to defend yourself, you're wrong for it. I will never forget that night that happened back in September of 2011. That was a horrible night for me. All the cops were going to be called on me, but no one saw what the three punks were doing. Curry Wigurski, Nick Bullen, and Christopher Cunhero. No one saw nothing what they were doing. But all I'm going to say is uh, you guys better watch out. I'm not your friend. I'll never be your friend. Corey, I don't know what you're mad about, but it's over, dude. So why do you keep your shit up? It's over. You know, I mean, I, I, this is the thing that makes me glad and happy that I am part of this religion. Because, dude, I don't have to lay a finger on you. 
I don't care where you are. You could be in another fucking country, and I'll still fuck you with you. I'll still fuck your world up. So, like I said, you keep riding your little bikes, and, you know, you, you keep doing your little thing, what you're doing. I want to keep doing what I'm doing. But, dude, in the meantime, if you don't want no fucking shit, you better just keep your mouth shut. You know, I want nothing to do with you. You know, and this goes to the other motherfucker, you, Christopher K., I'm going to get you, too. We're not friends, so don't think it. All right, you need to learn some goddamn respect and learn how to talk to people a lot better. Because I heard stories about how you pull knives on Jason and all. I'm going to tell you this, son of a bitch. If you ever pull a knife on me, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be done. You'll be banned from the skate park. I don't care how much work you've done to build the ramps and all that. We'll be done. You pull a knife on somebody, dude, and they let you in their skate park? Are you fucking out your mind? You know? And, and, and this shit about I'm, I'm, I'm racist? No. See, Corey, that's where you got it wrong, asshole. I'm not racist. I'm just racist towards you because I don't like you. Yeah, I'm racist. This is why I have black and white friends because I'm racist. Uh, actually, ginger is the color of your hair. A ginger is someone that has red hair or someone that has freckles. It, it doesn't depict what race you are or what nationality you are, if you knew anything right. You know, but I forgot, you're an idiot, so you don't know nothing, you know. So, dude, I'm going to wrap this part of the video up, but uh, anybody could be a gen ginger. You could be black and be a ginger. You could be Mexican. You could be Latin. You could be fucking Chinese, Japanese. Anybody could be a ginger. If you got red hair and freckles, you're a ginger. That's not a, that wasn't a racist comment. But here, I'm going to be racist now. Guess what, Corey? You're a fucking redneck piece of shit. Now I am being racist. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just letting you guys know. That wraps it up for this part of the video. So, uh, you, know, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to be a prude or anything, but I just want people to know I have feelings, too. You know, but beyond the piercings and the makeup and all that, I have feelings, too. And I just want to, you know, just get that out there. You know, I'm, st I'm still not going to say sorry for what I've done because me doing a spell and having guilt, that's dumb. That would be like someone punch you in your face and you're saying, oh, I'm sorry because you punched me in my face, I punched you in your face. No, it doesn't work that way, dude. I don't want to be your friend. I want nothing to do with you. You guys are garbage. You guys don't know how to treat people. You think you're better than everybody. You want to look down on everybody because you ride your little bike. But uh, no, that's up for that part of the video, you know, and uh, <clears throat> that's all I have to say about that. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Uh, this is Donovan Kelly, a.k.a. 534 Guy, signing off. I believe this is Saturday. <clears throat> July the 6th, no, I'm sorry, 7, 2012, and uh, like I said, you guys give me your out thoughts, give me your in thoughts, show what you think, you know, I'm hoping to get many views, you know, about all that, but uh, that's all I have to say, and I'm going to make another video after it, and uh, you guys have a good, good weekend, and uh, you know, enjoy your summer, later.